All right, love bugs, let's talk about units of time and elapsed time. First page is looking at our basic knowledge of the different ways that we measure time and some benchmarks. So there are seven days in a week. There are 60 minutes in an hour. There are 24 hours in a day. There are 52 weeks in a year. There are 12 months in a year. And morning is described with a.m., where the evening is described with PM. So again, just looking at those basic ways that we can describe our time and some benchmarks. If you have questions on this, bring them with you to class. All right, over here, we are looking to see what time is it. So looking at the clock, remember your shorthand is the hour, your longhand is the minute. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna circle my hour hands first in green. So we can see where we are. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna circle my minute hands in blue, just to kind of help us see the difference between the hands. Then we're gonna tell some time. All right, so for the first one, the hour hand is at the six, the minute hand is at the 12. 12 tells us o'clock or zero, zero. So this is six o'clock. Looking at the second one, our hand, what is it touching or what has it passed? This is at the eight. And then each of these is five, right on the line, eight, 15. Over here, past the two. Remember what is it touching? What has it passed? For minutes, the six is 30, counting our dots, 31, 32, 33, 34. Over here, hour is nine, counting five, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 9, 23. Over here, our hand is at the three. Remember we talked about when our minute hand is in the last quarter of the clock. We have to be especially careful with our hour hand because it looks like it's really close to the four. And I know that it's close to the four because that minute hand is in the last quarter of the clock, but it's not four yet, right? It's not four yet. So going around, my six is 39 is 45, 46, 47, 48. Over here, again, I'm in that last quarter of the clock. So I'm going to be really careful with my hours. It is not to the one o'clock yet. It is past the 12. I said the nine is 45, one past is 50, 12, 50. All right, loves, questions on these? Bring them with you to class. This page, we are determining the new time. So we're talking about hours before or hours after. So start off with telling our time. This time is 3.05. What time will it be in three hours? Well, if I add three hours, 4.05, 5.05, 6.05 .05 is my new time. Over here, what time will it be in one hour and 30 minutes? Well, it's 8.20. If I add one hour and 30 minutes, I get nine. 50 minutes are under 60. So it's good over here. What time will it be in 55 minutes? And this one we have to be careful if we use adding five and five is 10. Five and one is six plus one is seven. If I add it, I get 170. There's only 60 minutes in an hour. So that means I need to carry. I need to take 10 of these minutes. This becomes two, 10. 210. This is a good one to jump forward. If I'm jumping forward in minutes to get to my 55, I could do jumping in 10 minute increments. So 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 205, 210. What time will it be in two hours and 20 minutes? Well, right now it's 750. Well, let's do some counting forward. If I count forward 10 minutes, it's gonna be eight o'clock. If I count forward another 10 minutes, it's gonna be 810. That helps me get rid of my minutes. Then I have to add two more hours. So 810, 910, 1010 is my new time. What time will it be in 35 minutes? I can count around on this clock. So this is 1035. And if I count 35 minutes, I have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm going into the next hour. This is 11.10. Last one, what time will it be in one hour and five minutes? Well, one hour is 
five minutes is 335. Feel free to use whatever strategy works best with the way that you think. Question, let's bring them to class. All right, determining the new time, but looking backwards, a go tells us this is something that has already happened or in the past. What time was it 40 minutes ago? Well, if I walk, walk backwards, I see that right now I'm in the six o'clock hour, but as soon as I cross this 12 going backwards, I'm gonna be in the five o'clock hour. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So I'm now in the five o'clock hour. How many minutes? 25, working backwards. Looking at this one, what time was it 30 minutes ago? Well, if I go back five minutes, oh my goodness, I don't need a ruler. Thank you so much. If I go back five minutes, it's seven o'clock. And if I go back another 25 minutes, well, break it down, 650, 640, 635, walk it backwards, when in doubt, sketch it out. What time was three hours ago? Well, 910, counting back three, 810, 710, 610 is my time. What time was it one hour and five minutes ago? Well, right now it's at 510. So if I go back five minutes, minutes are going to be 05. And if I go back an hour, it's going to be 405. Put your pieces together. What time was two hours and 30 minutes ago? Well, let's start with time it is now. So right now it's 1145. Let's start with going back 30 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30. If I go back 30 minutes, it's 11, 15. And then go back two more hours, 10, 15, 9, 15 is my new time. Last one, what time was one hour and 10 minutes ago? If I jump back my hour, I get to 11, 35 minus 10 more minutes, 11, 25. Questions on these? Please go ahead and bring them with you to class. Last one, looking at word problems. It says Mandy's favorite show premieres at 8 p.m. If it lasts for 90 minutes, when will it be over? Well, let's start with what is 90 minutes? I know that there's 60 minutes in an hour. So if I take out those 60, that means I'm left with 30. So this is one hour and 30 minutes. So if it starts at eight and I jump forward one hour, it's nine and I jump forward 30 minutes, it's 9.30 when her show is over. Ethan's football practice starts at 4.30 p.m. His mom picks him up at 5.45. How long is his practice? Jumping forward hours, 4.30 to 5.30. That's as close as I can get. And then if I add another 15 minutes, I get to 5.45. His practice is one hour and 15 minutes. Over here, Ellen went to her friend's house at noon on Saturday. Her dad picked her up at 2.20 p.m. How long was she at her friend's house? So we have to start with what is noon. Noon means 12 o'clock. Jumping forward hours, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and then I have another 20 minutes. So one hour, two hours, and 20 minutes. Carl played cards with his cousin on Friday night. If they played for 35 minutes before someone won the first hand and the time read 8.40 p.m., when did they start? So working backwards, if they started, if they looked at the time at 8.40 and they'd been playing for 35 minutes, if I cut first my 30 minutes, I get to 8.10. I cut five more minutes, I get to 8.05. They started at 8.05. Parker waited in line for a roller coaster at the theme park. He had to wait for one hour. He got on the ride at 1.10 p.m. When did he get in line? Well, if it was 1.10 p.m. and he had waited for one hour, that means he got in line at 12.10 p.m. Last one, Melissa woke up early on Sunday to bake cookies. Her first batch went in at 8.45 a.m. They cooked for 12 minutes. If she cooked three batches, when did she take the last batch out of the oven? So let's work it forward. She started at 8.45 and they were in there for 12 minutes. 
So if I add 45 plus 12, I get 857. Okay, 857. Be careful with this time rollover. But she did it three times. So another 12. 857 plus 12. Be careful because there's three more minutes until the next hour. So nine o'clock plus nine, because we needed three minutes to get to the hour, 909. One more batch, another 12 minutes. Now I can just add it on. Nine plus 12 gives me 21. 921, she took out her last batch. Be careful right here when we're at the end of an hour and we have to add 12 minutes. Be careful with how that changes over. All right, love bugs, questions, bring them with you to class.